Hey everyone, it's Emily and welcome to another speed build video. I feel like I haven't done one in forever, probably because I haven't, because I took a little break uh, for a bit. But anyway, we back and <laughs> this is a collab with some of my great friends here on YouTube. We decided to do a seasons collab with uh, each person doing a different season and the people that I'm doing this collab with are Thomas TV, Dr. Ashley, and Chloe Sims. and they're all the best. I'm pretty sure, okay gosh, I might mess this up, but I think Thomas did the fall one or the autumn house, Chloe did the summer one, and Ashley did the spring one. So definitely make sure to check out their channels and their videos. I'll have all their stuff linked down below, but I built the outside of this house. Mine is winter, obviously, but I built the outside of this house before I had seasons. So I wanted to get a head start on the collab because I knew that I would want to build a lot of things when the pack came out. So I wanted to make sure that I got this done because we've been talking about this for a while. Um, probably like as soon as seasons was announced i think thomas was like hey guys i know this is like a little early but <laughs> do you want to do this collab and so we've had this like planned for a long time and originally we were going to do townhouses but then we decided that everyone would have more room and then we wouldn't have to worry about people not having certain packs mostly i just didn't even think about that <laughs> and it would just be easier if we each did our own house our own separate lot and they actually all fit in one section of newcrest so on that section of newcrest on the right hand side my house would be I think we didn't use the 40 by 20 lot, but we used all the rest of them. So I think the first one would be Thomas's fall house or autumn house <laughs> And then mine would be the next one and then I think it goes to Ashley's and then Chloe's is on the 40 by 30 I want to say so that's what uh, that's what we did and now we're finally in winter I cut out some of the more Obnoxious bits where I was spinning the camera around a lot and I was trying to get like the roofing right and some of the floor plan I cut that out, but you can see at the end. I have floor plan screenshots We've got it all covered and I am so obsessed with seasons. Oh my god I haven't I haven't made a video to properly express my feelings, but I'm loving it I'm obsessed and it's great the glass roofs incredible I have been building some stuff on stream well I built a lot of stuff on my own actually because when seasons came out I or like the night before seasons was coming out because for me it came out at midnight and I started building things around like 10 p.m. and I built the exterior of three houses this was one of them but I was just sitting there building exteriors and getting ready so that I could furnish them when seasons came out I have this house House done another house done I've started and finished a completely new house since then and I also have two other builds that I need to finish so I am loving the builds at the moment I really love the build by stuff it looks very CC inspired to me I was talking about that with Chloe uh, she agrees because she uses a lot of CC so I was like do you think it does or am I crazy and she was like yes I love it so um, now I feel validated and also know what I'm talking about but anyway <laughs> I really like the look of it. So it makes me want to do like a CC build every now and then. I don't know if I ever will on YouTube. I might do one on stream, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I kind of, I've said this before, but like going down that rabbit hole of like using custom content, very scary to me because I never did with create a sim. And then once I started, I couldn't stop and it got bad. And now I've cut back a little bit, but still, I don't think I could ever do completely without create a sim custom content. So um, yeah, it's a struggle. It's a constant battle to figure out what the best solution is. But anyway, let me tell you about my lovely friends. <laughs> so this is the thing that I love about collabs is that if you uh, run out of stuff to say, you just, you talk about the people that you're doing the collab with and then it's all good. But anyway, um, Thomas, really awesome. I've collabed with all of these people before, so I might be repeating myself just a little bit as far as like what their channel is about. But one of the things that Thomas does that I think is really cool is his weekly mansion builds, but he's also done some smaller builds recently that I really, really like because they remind me of the cottagey type builds that I used to do every week. Um, not that I don't do them anymore at all. I just don't so much have a schedule for which builds I post on which days. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it all out, but I'm kind of like redefining my schedule. But anyway, ooh, those little lanterns, very cute. Thought they were fun. We needed them in front of the house. 
back to Thomas. <laughs> His mansion builds are really great and I honestly don't know how he pulls off a 64 by 64 lot build every week, but he does, so that's incredible. Um, Ashley just started a new series on her channel where she's making, um, she called it Curb Appeal, and she's making the exteriors of houses and doing some of the floor planning and like basic furnishing that goes on the gallery, but in the video she's taking a picture from Google Images or like Pinterest or something and she's talking through why she picked that picture and why it's a good house to recreate in the game and I think that that's really cool because she says some things in that series that I'm like I totally do that when I look at pictures but I didn't really know that that's what I was looking for so now I can kind of like put a like a label on what I'm doing when I'm looking at house pictures because she's basically explaining my thought process a lot of times but I just didn't realize that that was even what I was doing so now when people ask me I actually have things to tell them <laughs> but I really like that series and for anyone who's wanting to get better at building I think you should definitely watch that because she has some good tips on what to look out for if you're trying to recreate a house from a picture and she posts that I think every Monday. That's her new Monday series. So that's when those are. And Chloe has started streaming a lot. I'm not sure what her YouTube schedule is anymore, but her streams are great. They're very chill. She builds things and they're always awesome. And she did a lot of build challenges recently and those were really cool and fun, but I know she's been struggling without her custom content. So now that she's done with all of those, she has that back in. So if you like um, build by custom content, definitely check her out because she's all kinds of cool things. It's mostly Peacemaker stuff. I think she's only using Peacemaker at the moment, but I might be wrong. She might have put some other things back in. Actually, I think she did because I was watching her stream the other day and she was using some cars that I don't think are Peacemaker, but might be. I don't really know. See, I'm, I'm a build by CC noob. I don't know what's going on, um, but I'm really obsessed with doing this white um, what's it called? There's a name for this type of tile. I can't think of it off the top of my head. But, oh, subway tiling, I think that's what it is. But I've been really obsessed with doing that type of tile in kitchens since we've gotten this pack. I almost did it in every house that I've built so far, but I've had to control myself. So no worries, it, we're not getting that repetitive, but it's a struggle. And the jungle adventure, I don't know, the jungle adventure stuff goes so well with season stuff in my opinion, it's great. Um, I thought that I would do a nifty thing and put the microwave in the corner, but then I realized that it didn't make much sense to put books out in the open and the microwave shoved in the corner. I don't know. Realism, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, it really killed me. Anyone who's been watching me for a while, well, not maybe, maybe not anyone, but some people might know that I have complained about putting stoves in front of windows before. And this is the second time ever that I've done it in a speed build. Actually, it might be the third time. It's the third time. It's the third time that I have done this in a speed build. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having issues saying third right now, but Anyway, the stove in front of the window, I really hate it. Don't at me, <laughs> don't come at me. But um, yeah, I had to do it. There wasn't much other option. And the windows looked too nice there. I didn't want to get rid of them. So we just sucked it up and put the stove there. And I didn't even notice that new console, but it looks incredible. So we switched that one out for the cats and dogs one. And it's great. I wish that we got a sink that merged with counters better. Also, something that I didn't realize, but I noticed I was watching, I think it was Eliandra did a build where she used all of the expansion packs and the base game. And she was saying that we've never gotten new counters with an expansion pack. And I didn't even realize that, but she's so right. Like, what the heck? We've never gotten new counters, like kitchen counters with an expansion pack. The closest thing we've gotten is an island counter that came with get to work and it's ugly because it goes with the stupid cash register retail lot check-in desk item and I hate it. It doesn't look good, <laughs> but we've, I don't know. That's so crazy to me. Like if you want new counters and you only buy expansion packs, then like you're screwed. You don't have new counters. <laughs> I think that that's an issue and we need to fix it. Motion to fix the counter problem. But anyway, I went kind of decoration crazy in this house because it was my first look through of all of the stuff. And I was like, you know what? It's winter. We're doing Winterfest, Christmas, whatever you want to call it. And I decided that, well, I decided, what am I saying? I actually ended up using an orange lamp that I didn't realize was orange. I might 
change it in a second. I don't know if I cut that part out or not, but I used an orange lamp because I thought that it was red because when I was building this at night, you know, me and my color correcting screen and when I build at night, we can't tell what colors things are anymore. Yeah, that's what happened. And so I used an orange lamp in the middle of all of my other red things. So that was kind of an issue, but it's fine. We fixed it. It's good. <laughs> and um, I like the new dining table, the new dining chairs. Everything's great. While I was building this, I was watching a stream. Um, someone was, they were streaming their midnight release of seasons because they, like me, also had to, you know, stay up and download it at midnight. And they were streaming like all their first impressions. So I'm kind of remembering like bits and pieces of their, the first thing that they were looking at at the time that I was building, which is weird. I think that I've been talking you know this a lot in my builds. I think I talked about it in my last build. But anyway, I also, just a little heads up, guys, in case anyone likes my new crest development series. Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Emily, anyone who's new. But um, I do this series where I'm filling up new crest. We're getting close to done, but I think we have one more lot on the strip that actually all these houses are supposed to go on. And then we've got a couple more lots in the other the bottom area of Newcrest the bottom left corner so we have like four more lots or three more lots over there I think we only have four more lots left in Newcrest anyway I actually built one of the lots on stream because I wanted to <laughs> and I wanted to use the glass roofs and build something cool with them and I needed to build my thing for the new crest stuff I uh, don't want to give too much away but I needed to build the thing for that so I was like and eh, I kind of just want to do it on stream I hope that's not too big of an issue I said that I could do a video tour so let me know if you guys would want to see that because I never know if it's worth it to do a video tour or not like do you guys want to see those do you if you can't see a speed build is there anything you would want to see instead would you rather see a showcase of like everything I built on twitch for the month or something or what because I'm trying to figure out a good way to keep my YouTube audience up to date with Twitch stuff because I know obviously not everyone can make it to streams like it's just not going to be convenient for everyone so I still want to if I create something really cool share it on YouTube some way but I don't know if people would even want to see the tour or would rather just have me you know maybe mention it and then they can go check it out on the gallery if it sounds interesting but um, also this is a little office room I didn't do any of the floor planning on this video I don't think I think I cut it all out but I made this little office off the corner, not off the corner, but off of the master bedroom. You can kind of see the floor plan situation there. But I was thinking maybe, I don't know, this has been a common theme in my builds, but I feel like every parent needs to work from home like one parent does. So I always make an office where I'm like, oh, maybe the parent works from home and this is their home office. So that's kind of what I did there again, once again. But I made a cool glass roof thing over it. So that's going to look really nice in other seasons than winter because in winter, the glass roofs get like frosty and there's snow on them and they don't let in the same type of light that they normally do so that is kind of an issue that I didn't realize when I first built it but I still think it looks cool and I think this house will look great whatever season it's in because obviously I did the landscaping not in winter so I know that all the landscaping looks good but this is something I didn't think about or realize was going to happen when I got the pack but actually when you say which season you're going to be in I thought that whenever you went into build mode it would always be in that season but if you go into build mode through the map view it doesn't show it as the season it just shows it as like the regular sims is always summertime lot and that kind of throws me off a little bit especially for this because obviously I wanted to showcase the fact that I'm building a house in winter so I had to make it so that it was like winter outside I had to go into the house and I actually had to give my sim money and have like I was physically like buying the things out of the catalog instead of just, you know, doing free build and kind of like placing them wherever or not placing them wherever, but placing whatever I wanted with no cost attached to it. So that was kind of different. And I don't really know how I feel about that. I wish there was an option. I know a lot of people have talked about this, but uh, it would be cool if there was an option where you could like flip through the seasons, kind of like you flip through the times of the day. But I don't think it would ever work quite that seamlessly just because the seasons changes the entire surrounding area of the lot and all of the landscaping and all of what the roofing looks like. So I think it requires a little bit more loading than just a quick click of a button because it's not the same as a lighting engine, you know? So I don't know. That's just my two cents. I think not that I don't think they'll ever add it, but I think that they would have to do it a little bit differently than the way that flipping through the times of the day works just because of the way the game processes it. But that's just my general 
thought. I don't really know anything about how things work, so maybe don't listen to me, but my two cents, there you go. <laughs> Anyway, this house has uh, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. I wish I could have gotten another one in, but I kind of made the downstairs a little bit cramped, uh, I feel. I don't know why. I, I feel like it didn't need to turn out that cramped, but somehow it did. Sometimes I feel like I can build really big houses on 20 by 30s, and sometimes I feel like I build like medium-sized houses. I don't know, but this one has two kids' rooms. They're both kind of decorated like it's wintry time. I really love that swatch of that curtain. I think it looks nice, uh, super nice. I don't know what I'm saying, but I love it. And I had to use this bed, this new kid's bed, in one of the rooms at least because it's my new favorite thing. It looks so good. I love all the patterns. And this one with the little like starry night theme oh, it just looked great. And then I could put lots of blue fun things in the room and we went with that for this one and then the other room is I think like orange I want to say I might be wrong I want to say it's orange I don't know but anyway I also put some cool decal things that came with the pack on the windows so it looks like they have window decals I don't know why I'm talking about this now because it hasn't happened yet <laughs> uh, if I don't talk about things after they've happened you better believe I'm gonna talk about them before they happen <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and I don't know how to order my commentary. Especially, I feel like I'm so out of practice with this because I think it's legitimately been a week since the last time I sat down and did a speed build voiceover, which is kind of crazy. But anyway, in case you guys were wondering, for anyone who doesn't follow me on Twitter or is in my Discord or something, which by the way, you should do those things. Join my Discord. Link's always in the description. Follow me on Twitter. My name is Emmy Sims underscore because Emmy Sims Sims is always taken. It's a sad life that I live, but it's fine. Um, and anyway, Discord's very fun. I definitely recommend joining that. If you're not into Twitter, that's not your thing. I understand, but uh, I post all the same stuff in Discord and like I post more in Discord, but if I'm going to give an update about the channel, then I'll do it in Discord and on Twitter just in case. But yeah, that's what I do. But anyway, the whole moral of the story is that I basically took the majority of last week off of making videos just because I could have made like regular speed builds and done regular stuff, but anyone who had early access, I figured, you know, like they're going to have their videos going up. Like who's going <laughs> to not, I mean, yeah, this is kind of morbid, but like morbid, is that the right word? Probably not. But, um, I personally wouldn't have wanted to watch my videos with all the early access stuff coming out. So I decided that it was just better to let the early access things come out and then I could make my videos again when I got the pack was basically what it was. And also I really wasn't in the mood to build a super much. That's not a common phrase. Also, I left this stupid little pop out bit that I could have used for the room and made a cool little cubby area, but I didn't because I forgot about it. But anyway, I was also enjoying watching all of the new seasons footage and I just wasn't, I couldn't bring myself to build without the pack after having seen other people's stuff and knowing what I was missing in my game. So um, yeah, sorry for no speed builds last week, but I did post updates all around other social medias. So if you're ever wondering, even if you don't have Twitter, or something if um, if you like really want to know what's going on you can always just go to my Twitter page you don't have to have an account but you can still see if I posted any type of update situation but I also have started posting my weekly schedule in discord so kind of just like my plans of what I'm gonna upload throughout the week and when I'm going to be streaming so I have those types of things in the announcements channel on my discord so if you want some more details on like what's what to expect for the week definitely make sure you check out the discord but anyway this video is over so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out all my friends. I'll have all of their channels linked below, all of their videos linked below, and all of their little lovely faces at the end of the video. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you're having a great day, and that's all I've got. Bye!